What's going on everyone? It's Coach Angelo here and in today's how-to video, I'm going to show you how you're going to be able to find your maintenance calories. The first way is to track what you're eating on a daily basis for a period of anywhere between 7 to 14 days long and use an app like MyFitnessPal to track what you're eating on a daily basis. And make sure for each day you're going to monitor your weight first thing in the morning and at the end of the 7 to 14 day, you're going to take the average of what your daily caloric intake is. Let's say, for example, if you're eating around 2,500 calories and your body weight has stayed the same throughout whatever activity you're currently doing, then this is your maintenance calorie. Now, from here, whatever your top fitness goal is, if you're trying to gain muscle or lose weight, then you're going to either increase your calories or decrease your calories. So that is option one. Now, for option two would be to use an online calculator to calculate your total daily energy expenditure, which I'm gonna show you on the screen right now. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in Google and then you're gonna search this up right here. So you're gonna search TDEE calculator. So what this stands for, this stands for total daily energy expenditure and you're gonna plug in your information. So we're gonna do that right now. So let's first put in age and then we're gonna put on weight. So I'll leave my height right there, 5'9". And for activity, you're going to put in whatever your activity level is. So if you're someone that just works in an office, you're going to put for sedentary. If you're someone that's like myself that trains five times a week, does cardio every day, you put somewhere in, in between a modern exercise or heavy. But you know what? To be on the safe side, just put modern ex exercise. If you know your body fat percentage, that would be ideal. If not, you can leave it blank. And then you're going to click on the, this calculate button right here. And then it's going to plug, it's going to get your information. So it's going to get what your maintenance calories is. So this says with my current weight and height, my maintenance calories is around 2,800 calories with my activity level. And then of course, as you can see right here, depending on what activity level you put. So if you're someone that's like for sedentary, I'll be around 2,100, light exercise, 25, modern exercise, 28. And if I was doing heavy exercise, I'd be around 31. And then it gives you some more information. It tells you what your pretty much ideal weight for your height should be. But again, if this is this information is not usually pretty much accurate because it doesn't take into consideration how much lean uh, muscle mass you have. And it tells you what your BMI score is. And if you go further down, if you kind of want to have like what's a breakdown when it comes like a macronutrient split has right here. But again, the key thing that we need to know is what your maintenance calories is. And this is another way of finding it out besides using my fitness pal. And those are the two ways that you can find your maintenance calories. Hope you find this video useful. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up down below. Also subscribe to my channel as well if you wanna see more how-to videos or if you wanna see some fitness educational or food recipe videos on my channel. And I'll catch you all in the next how-to video.